Hello everyone and welcome back to the Yukir tribe and it has been so long since we have seen these little nichelings. Look at all of them. Oh my goodness and they have made it safely you guys. So for those of you who are just jumping in you may not be aware but we have been away from our little Yukir tribe for over a week which is very 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 odd for us. Normally we are here seeing their adventures every single day but in case you didn't know I happen to have just traveled halfway across the world to Taiwan and I was so scared and so worried that I would not be able to bring the Yukiers with us and thankfully my amazing beloved Chips was able to yank their save file remote access wise all the way from the other side of the world because it's tucked in a really unusual location but the Yukiers are here with us the Yukiers have actually joined me in Taiwan and so we are going to be able to continue their adventure and in the process of getting them over here we actually ended up finding where the niche save files are and we have shown that you can put them on a new computer an entirely new computer as long as you're using the right version of niche to be able to play the save file it will work so I was wondering, would you guys like to be able to play some of our tribes? Would you like me to make a video explaining how to download and how to put in save files from other people's niche games? And then we might be able to deliver that to you so you could tell us how your adventures with them went at different periods of their lives. Maybe each time before we launch off to another island, I would be able to upload the save file and provide it to you guys to be able to play. And it would be really cool to see in the comments like, oh, you wouldn't believe it, but lots or Yuki, the um, the fertility god has been reborn, or I had Tata born and then the entire tribe was wiped out by predators. I think that'd be really fun. So if you guys are interested in that and being able to periodically be able to download and play the tribes that we are playing and branch off with your own stories for them, then let me know because I think that would be a lot of fun, especially because then those of you who have favorite characters would be able to really give them all the attention your heart desires, such as the deep love that Zavala I has been getting. You guys are in love with this little nicheling. You cannot get enough of him. I see constantly people asking, please make sure Zabai has a, a child of some kind, a mate of some kind. And I think he actually did have a child last time. It's kind of hard to see. Oh, there you are, Zabai. <gasps> You haven't had a child. Okay, we'll find Zavai somebody to be able to have a child with because having children is something we need to do in the Yukir tribe. As you guys know, where we left off, we are facing the extinction of the tribe by death by baby boy. We have 22 creatures in this tribe and only four of them happen to be females. That is not good, not good at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and start having some of our excessive boys like Jolks over here continue to explore and start clearing away some of the grasses. Taro, you can dig. Whoa, is it a female? Dang it, I got so excited. <laughs> but it's not a girl. So we have a wanderer who we definitely don't need to invite into the tribe right now. No offense, New Cuckoo. I'm sure that you have some interesting genetics. I'd be interested in looking at them any other day of the week, but not today and not today, my friend. We don't need to be adding in any more males into our tribe. We have plenty of them, plenty of them without his help. We do have the four females. Isana is probably going to need to have another child. We have a permanent nest right here. And Isana, is there anybody you would be particularly suited for? Or could you have a child with Zavai? It looks like Izana and Zavai actually could indeed have a child. So you know what? Because we've had so many people loyally worrying about Zavai, we'll go ahead and make that happen if possible. Let me move. Uh, Kudos is also one of our males. Let me have him clear the grass away so I can see what we're doing. And then we'll move Izana down here. We want to be cautious. Oh, no. Come on. There we go, and she'll be able to have Zavai's child, because I know so many of you have really been rooting for him for so long. All right, so we've got them set up. Hopefully they'll have a healthy child. Oh, look at the mess our family tree is. There's just way too many kids in this generation. And a lot of people, uh, and Bozai, Bozai definitely needs to have a child. I know that there's a female who's like perfectly lined up for him. Is it Miana Ana? Let's see. It may be Miana Ana and Bozai. Yeah, D and E immunity. And we have K and H immunity. They both happen to have the armored body. They both happen to have the hammer tail. It's a match made in heaven. We definitely need to make that happen. We also have K uh, Karina. And I think Karina and Bozai match up. Oh, they do share a K immunity. 
and Aethys over here does share Kay immunity. But Karina, I'm sorry, we don't have that many females. I can't afford to be picky. So we'll make Karina have a child in just a moment here. We definitely need more than four females. Um, let's see. But let's see, Miana and Taduk do share some genetics. So I probably don't want them to have a child. All right, we'll worry about who has the kids in just a minute. At least I can grab some of the children like Hawthorne down here. And when they've got the uh, the orange dots, then we know we're not going to be using them as breeders. So I'm going to scooch him over here. I believe little Kano, or Gano, excuse me, was happy to gather up some berries. Quintus, where else I going to breed you? He's got some pretty fancy genetics, but I don't know if we'll breed him just yet. I think we're going to go ahead and just sort through all of our boys and let them kind of work on gathering resources for now. Aethys is one of our uh, key males, so we'll have him gather up some of the grasses and kind of clear away some spots so that everybody can travel faster. Wink, adorable little Wink, who so many of you are very much in love with, is not old enough to have a mate yet, but she is one of our four remaining females. Quintus, you can go ahead and help to clear away some of these grasses. Little Kook here. He has recessive hammer tail, so he'll probably help out with resource collecting primarily. Mako, can you gather up that? No. Mako, I'll send you out to go help with resource collecting as well. We have little Taduk. Uh, he's not so little, actually, watching over Paz. Paz, I don't think you're going to be a breeder, my little one. He not only does not have armored body, which the Yukir tribe really holds pretty highly regarded, but he um, doesn't have hammer tail either. They're both, both inactive. So he's not going to be a breeder, but that's okay. We'll scooch him this way. Let's see. I don't think we have any birds on this island. It's a very, very safe island for the tribe to be on, except for the fact, as with many of the islands that we thought would be safe and prosperous, we have ended up um, really struggling with, with unexpected things. Not enough nest materials in the past, and this time we're struggling with having enough mates, uh, with, or enough females for mates. Let's see, Kiravanu. Oh, I need to give Kiravanu a new name, actually. So let me go ahead and pull up my fancy, fancy name list that you guys have given me. And we're gonna go with Bardo, which is the name that has been given to me. So we'll go with Bardo. Paz, I think I renamed you already. Bardo might be used as a breeder. He has really high fertility. He's got an active hammer tail. He's got armored body, an active cracker jaw, all very attractive things as a possible future mate. And I'll have Tadu come down and he'll just kind of nibble that clam and nibble some of those berries since he's an old man. And I do believe it is about time for him to pass away. He does share immunity genes with both of the females near him, so we won't breed them together. Uh, Zomir, are you gonna be? Zomir has medium body, unfortunately, uh, but he can gather up these nuts. So I'll have him come over and gather these nuts. There we go. All right, so we'll figure this out. But yeah, <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so many creatures. <laughs> there's, oh yes, yes, you guys, another permanent nest. Good job, Obi, I'm so proud of you. All right, so Obi has just found another permanent nest. So we're gonna hurry and we're gonna get Miana Ana on over there. So hopefully she and Bozai will be able to have a child and hopefully they'll be able to, oh, and we do need to watch food. Hopefully they'll be able to have a child to carry on the Yukir family genes. That beautiful armored body, that gorgeous hammer tail that we have been really trying to keep in the family for quite a while. We unfortunately did lose Mamut Foot, but our goal is to be able to wiggle off to new islands and be able to find more snowy lands at some point. And from those snowy lands, crack open the ice block and eventually have all of the hidden ice genes in the Yukir tribe. And I have also seen recently some people requesting that we might start a new tribe. So I think what we're going to do to celebrate the fact I am in Taiwan now is actually get to the point where we are going to be rotating tribes again. But I want to do it with a twist this time. So tomorrow you guys are going to be introduced most likely to a brand new tribe that I'm pretty excited to start just to celebrate being in Taiwan and waiting out the time in between the niche updates. Uh, if things go to plan, then there probably will be another new niche update. Who who knows, maybe we'll be taking to the skies with the wing mutation or the hybrid mutation by being able to mutate uh, or being able to breed in some babies who are hybrids with the predators that roam through the grasses. And that would be really amazing, but I haven't seen any hints about the updates just yet. So to fill in the time between the updates, we will continue on for searching for the snowy lands with the Ugir tribe, but 
but we'll also try out another tribe just to celebrate like a new start in Taiwan and just to give us some fresh faces to enjoy. But I would like to do it with a twist. So if you guys have some good ideas for some sort of challenge or some sort of event that we could do with our tribe, or if you would just like a normal tribe in a new land and just to watch their stories naturally unfold like we usually do, then please let me know and we will definitely be diving into that. All right, so you guys ready? We're really gonna start rolling now. Four females, <laughs> about uh, 18 males, and a brand new baby on the way. Will we be able to cling on to, uh, cling on, no, 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 it's not the time for Star Trek jokes. Okay, deep breaths. Will we be able to hold on to those armored body jeans and that gorgeous hammer tail, or will they be lost along with the rest of the tribe as our imbalance between the two uh, the two genders completely falls to pieces? We're gonna have to see. All right, let's go ahead and see what kind of baby Isana and Zavai are going to have together. Let's also make sure. Yep, hopefully that baby will not be born with the Izana's little frog feet. And <gasps> is that a girl? Oh, Sissy, I'm so happy to see you! Look at her! Oh my gosh, I'm actually gonna name her Sissy because I think that's a really cute name. All right, so Sissy, and we'll just go like that. So little Sissy has been born! Thank goodness, another female, and she's actually armor-bodied? Fantastic, yes! All right, so she's armored body. She has healthy immunity genes. She ha does not have any hemophilia. Fantastic, and now I'm a lot less worried. We also did lose our very old male. This whole area is just little, like littered with nest and bones. It's kind of sad. Let's go ahead and we'll have like paws destroy this nest as like a way to, to maybe like bury the bones. So he'll go ahead and bury those bones. Bardo over here will go ahead and bury these bones and then gather up some nuts. And then let's see. Zomir, any of the creatures like Miana Ana or Bozai who happen to have a full armored body and full hammer tail will get the awesome dots of blue on their chest so we know to really prioritize their breeding like Aethys here. And any of the ones who are green will say they have some recessives we want and any of the ones who are orange will know that we don't ever really plan on breeding them. But you guys are still, don't worry Hawthorne, you're still a deeply beloved member of the Yukir family tree. Don't, don't despair. All right, so let's see, like Gano, I don't think we'll ever breed Gano, so he'll go ahead and get like some marks of the orange and then we'll just use him to collect food resources that happen to be nearby. Quintus might potentially be a breeder. I'm gonna give him a little blue in the middle dot because he has a cracker jaw, armored body, and recessive hammer tail, and a lot of other really attractive traits, such as those gorgeous yellow eyes and panda pattern, which is actually pretty fun. We might make him have a baby after all. That could be kind of cool, but until then, we need to utilize all of these stray males, all of these spare males that we have to be able to gather as much of our resources as possible. All right, little Kukir, here, you're gonna help out here. Mako, uh, he might potentially be a breeder in the future, but until then, resource collecting, that is your duty. They, they really, really need to take good care of the tribe. All right, little Vatashi. Now he's an interesting little one. All right, we'll scooch him over. Uh, some of my females, Miana Ana is finally getting over here. Everybody's in her way. <laughs> it's very crowded over here. Hopefully we can we can kind of ease up how many of the males and females we have. So Kudos, who would be a good mate for Kudos? Where are my two females to choose from? Kudos, and we've got Miana Ana. And who was the other female? Was it Karina? Yeah, Karina doesn't exactly have like dominant hammer tail, but she's pretty good. So let's see. Kudos and Karina would make good mates. And Miana Ana and Bozai would make good mates. So Karina, let's get you over here. You can meet with Kudos. There we go. So now she's expecting his child and he can work on clearing away some grasses to gather up nesting material. Miana Ana. It's going to take her a little bit. No, Miana Ana. It's gonna take her a little while to work her way over just because it's so crowded and I think that is Anna as the eldest female and kind of like the matriarch of this sprawling family would probably lose her temper and tell everybody to start clearing out. Get out of the way. There's too many of all of you. Sora, get out of here. So Sora probably won't be, yeah, he'll probably never be a mate because he is missing Hammertail and he has blind eyes. So we're gonna go ahead and Sora's gonna go soar elsewhere. There we go. Go fly your wings that way, my friend. And then here's Aethys. Aethys, is he gonna be... 
Let's see. I can't remember who Aethys is the mate of. Because Karina's mate was Kudos. Yeah, Karina and Kudos. Aethys, uh, maybe Wink? Where'd little Wink go? Let's see. Nope, they are actually related. So Aethys, he may actually take on... Let's see, Azana, could Azana be his mate? No, they also are related. Well, I'm gonna have to be very cautious. Where's my, my other female? Now I have five females. Who's my fifth female? Let's see, there's Wink. Oh, this family tree is so crowded. Karina, Miana, Anna, Azana, Sissy. Let's see, Wink. Okay, yeah, I looked at Wink. Okay, so maybe I did look at all the females. Well, don't worry, Aethys, you've got really good genetics, so we'll figure out some way to use you. And Azana... Should I have her mate with any of them for now? I think that she's a little overwhelmed at how crowded everything is. So we'll just have her get out of the nest and she'll just kind of like tell everybody to start moving. Zavai, Zavai is probably very happy. He probably is deeply in love with his little daughter, Sissy, his only child. Whoops. Sorry, Zavai, if I had noticed it was your last day, I would have had you have another child with Izana. I'm sorry. All right, so he's going to stay with his only child. Uh, Zomir might potentially be a future mate, but we're going to keep him over here for now. I like how he has the stripes and the really awesome blonde hair. That's pretty awesome. All right, and then we're going to have Joltix. You'll probably never, now that I'm looking at his genes, yeah, he's not ever going to be somebody's mate. Dang it, missed that mole. And we'll have him go away. Go away, wandering male. We don't want you in the tribe. This is this family does not have. Oh, he ate my. <gasps> he ate the mole meat. I just. Oh, I just realized he ate our mole meat. That's where it vanished. You naughty creature, you! Get out of here! He's trying to eat. Look at him. He's trying to come over here and eat my berries too. How rude! How very very rude! We needed those. We needed those to feed my my sprawling, hungry hungry boys. So many, so many males. All right, so we've got Sissy. Is she gonna be good for breeding? Maybe. Not the best, but not not bad either. All right, did somebody pass away? Oh yeah, oh, Zavai, I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna have your daughter wiggle up here and she might be in charge of this little berry bush. And I feel like Izana is kind of like the matriarch of the area and she's shoving all of the, the others out of the way. Wink, can you become the mate? Who can Wink become mates with? Let's see, not Bozai. What about Mako? Dang it, Wink, you are just a little bit too closely related to almost everybody. Except for Quintus! Yes! All right, I'm gonna send Wink over here. I think that uh, Izana is snapping at everybody and it intimidates Wink a little bit. So we're gonna send her over here. And she and Quintus are gonna strike up a lovely little romance. They should at least have children who are armored bodied and they have a teensy chance of those hammer tails. So we might have some hammer tail recessive there. Oops, can we get that bunny? Can we get the bunny? Good job, Hawthorne! Oh, there's another bunny! Can we get- Oh my gosh! So much food! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! It's just like a pile of bunnies. That's gonna be really good food. All right, we'll take care of that in a second. Let's see, a little pause. Can he filter food from down here? Maybe it's not deep enough. All right, so I don't know what we'll do with pause yet. All right, and we buried the bones over here, which is actually kind of a sweet thing to do. Have a nest and then break it and say that you like buried the bones of the family members. All right, there we go, kick the tree. Everybody else. I think Izana is just really starting to come into her own by kind of snapping at everybody. And this is becoming quite sort of a matriarch sort of based society. There we go. <gasps> Another permanent nest, yes. All right, I think Bozai is quite happy. There we go. And now Bozai and Miana Ana are going to have a child. Wonderful. And Kudos is going to be expecting his first child with Karina. I think that Azana is kind of shoving everyone out of the way. Come along, little Vantish. And making room for Karina and kind of like taking her under her wing. Quite concerned to make sure that that female is comfortable too. And then do I have any females over here? No, but I have... I have a whole lineup of the most attractive males of the entire tribe. So what we have here, these are the, the like, the, I don't know, rock solid four or something because they're behind a rock and almost all of them are the same. But these are the most attractive members of our entire tribe at the moment. And they will hopefully provide us with many healthy babies. They're the, the most attractive males. So it's kind of funny. They all look the same too. But hopefully they'll have many armored bodied hammer tailed children. All right, so Azana is quite content because she's starting to shove everybody out of the way. Kudos and Karina are a pair. So I'll send Kudos up here to spend time with his mate. And then let's see, Mako is 
kind of sort of a possible mate. If he became Azana's mate, they might have an unhealthy baby, unfortunately, because that immunity H is getting a little bit, little bit tight in the family tree. So I'll send Mako over here to help out. And then Aethys could be a good mate to Miana Anna, but not a good mate to Corina. So he's going to come down and he's going to have to be a second mate of Miana Anna. All right, and then these two boys, are we going to breed these guys? Probably not, Taro. No offense. Obi, you might be. He's a good backup. So we'll have him come over here. And they need to kind of just clear the, the grass out and make some space. There we go. Yeah, I think Izana is just like kicking everybody out of the nest. Get out of here, all of you. Whoops, there we go. A little bit more food. And then Izana will jump up here with her daughter. And teach her little one how to eat some berries. And we'll let Karina eat some berries. Just before, I don't think Izana would have any patience, by the way, for new cuckoo coming in and trying to steal some of their food. So she probably has a lot of strong words and maybe even a strong bite about that. All right, and then who mutated something? Somebody mutated something, which is quite useful. All right, and what do we need amongst the babies who are about to be born? I don't think we have to worry about them having bad hind legs because they have already muted their mothers have already mutated in good hind legs and their fathers all have good hind legs double checking yep everybody has good hind legs we don't really need to worry about cracker jaw i think we might want to start mutating in runner's leg and claw because several of you are very worried about there not being enough claw strength amongst our tribe so I'm going to put Claw as secondary, and I do think having faster creatures would help us, so I'm going to add in Runner's Leg. Uh, and I don't think that replaces Hind Leg. Runner's Leg, if I remember correctly, yeah, it goes up in the front. All right, there we go. We're going to have more babies. Let's hope they're girls. They're boys. Wow, but look at you. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Karina ended up having this little one, and we will give him a new name. So we're actually going to name him Kumo for cloud. And it's kind of funny. He's like the dark cloud, which I kind of like that idea of. But I am a little bit of a sucker when it comes to these panda patterns who are also like black furred because they just look so cool to me. I really like their look. So he's been born. I'm really kind of sad. Oh, dang it. He has recessive hammer tail. Not, not active. But I'm kind of sad it's a male because we're still low. Sissy. I, I love you, but you don't exactly have the genetics we're entirely going for, but better that, you know what, better that than losing the Yukir tribe entirely. And then down here we have, <gasps> yay, all right, another fantastically healthy male. We are going to name him, and I'm going to zip down here a little bit. Uh, a beer is actually one of the names you guys have suggested. And remember, you can leave suggestions in the comments. And if you leave them like one name per line, it really helps me out because then I just copy paste them into my beautiful notepad file and scroll through them at random when I'm picking the names. Feel free to leave as many as you would like. I am, I'll go through old videos as well to pluck names and put them back in. We're going to have hundreds and hundreds of babies across our many niche stories. So feel free to leave as many as you'd like. No worries. All right. But he is is a bear here is definitely another one of our important young ones because he has a full armor body full hammer tail and beautiful dnk immunity and look at that fertility he might have some gorgeous gorgeous babies in the future that's fantastic is there anybody he could actually be mates with who's here already wink where'd you go wink oh wink's all the way over <gasps> wink wink you had a baby too i totally forgot that wink was gonna have a baby yeah we're gonna start playing a little bit dangerously with the immunity genes but we're just gonna have to deal with that all right but wink has had a really adorable baby boy he reminds me like of Garfield or Tiger and and oh, what am I going to name him? He actually kind of reminds me of like Calvin and Hobbes to be completely honest. That's what he reminds me of. So I'm going to name him uh, Kevin. And so this is Kevin and I love his coloring. Isn't he the coolest little tiger with yellow eyes? That is awesome. And he unfortunately doesn't have any of the hammer tail, but I'm very happy with his recessive genes or excuse me, his immunity genes and the fact he does have an armored body at least. So there is that. All right, our tribe is continuing to grow and continuing not to have any girls other than Sissy. I'm really glad that she's been born. But I think we're starting to sort things out. With all of these different tribe members, there's a get away from my meat for crying out loud. He keeps stealing my mole meat. That is not the way we do these things. 
But yeah, it might be a little interesting. Oh, another permanent nest to see how the tribe develops from here on out. Uh, but I think that Izana is going to actually really put her feet down and she is going to kind of step forward as the matriarch of this tribe because we are in desperate need of a matriarch to kind of help us figure out what to do, where to go, how many babies should we be having, who should be focusing on like gathering resources, uh, who should be having the babies. And I think that is Anna is going to, as like pretty much the oldest one here, uh, just just really step up, step up to the plate there and start helping us out. We'll have little paths explore. And I think that's pretty appropriate too, that in just some reason, especially because females are so important in this tribe now that we're running low on them, even though there's so few females, somehow that just gives Izana more power rather than less power, even though she doesn't have the genes that are oh so precious to the Yukir tribe. But all right, I'm gonna gather up these little nuts and there we go. All right, so we're actually going to get out of the way. Oh my goodness, look at all of this delicious food. We're gonna get out of the way for Miana Ana uh, to be able to rotate between Aethys and Bozai as her mates. Uh, they have pretty much the same immunity though. Hmm, and Bozai actually has better fertility. Okay, so Aethys, I might have to figure out what to do with you. But um, yeah, at the moment, Miana Ana has her choice of the prime pick of all of the, <laughs> the most handsome males in the entire tribe. So we may have a lot of healthy children with her or we may back ourselves into a corner with our immunity genes. We're gonna have to see. But it feels fantastic to be back, guys. I'm sorry that we were away from niche for so long. We will be diving back in. Like I said, I actually want to dive back in also. And let's get these two down here. So kudos and no. What? Their breeding wasn't successful? What? Again? Oh gosh, finally. <laughs> Karina will be able to have another child, thank goodness. And I'm gonna go ahead and just let Miana Ana have another child. All right, come on. There we go. With, uh, with Bozai. So Bozai will be her main mate, I think. But I have missed them and we will be back hopefully tomorrow with a brand new tribe. Uh, we're going to continue on with the Yukiers, like I said. But I think it would be pretty fun to also be able to see another fresh face, another fresh set of characters, another island, new adventures, and new discoveries. We'll continue working with the Yukir tribe on discovering as many of the ice genetics as possible. But I wonder what kind of interesting challenge should it just be playing for as many generations as possible, like a hundred generations, or should it be some sort of lone wolf challenge or should it be something else maybe tackling the jungle and taking out all three of the apes what do you guys think we should do for our other new tribe to celebrate being here in taiwan and if everything is a little bit wonky like audio levels and things like that are wonky please pardon me i'm still figuring out how to get my new recording set up on my laptop completely good to go and i'm really looking forward to being back here in the yukir tribe with you guys next time so i'll see you guys then Bye bye